everybody, I'm Adam, I'm a zookeeper and I'm here on the Tropics Trail of the Minnesota Zoo. I want to give you a little look at our African dwarf crocodiles. Now there's 18 different types of crocodile, but this is the smallest type of crocodile in the world. They're only about six feet long at the maximum. It's as big as they ever get. So these guys here are fully grown. Now, one of the questions we get pretty often as zookeepers is are they real? And that's because crocodiles by nature are very, very still. That's part of their hunting technique, that's part of what they do. And uh, you know, we only feed these guys once a week and as a result they conserve their energy. Most of the time you'll find crocodiles uh, living in warm areas because they can't uh, heat their own body. They're what we call ectothermic. They got all of their heat from the outside. Now when they get too hot, you'll see them open their mouth and that actually moves blood to their tongue. They can uh, let off a lot of heat through their tongue, but they can also, first thing in the morning, you'll see a crocodile on the bank of a river with its mouth open facing the sun because the tongue can heat up their blood much more quickly and allow them much more rapid movement after that. Uh, when we're looking at the African dwarf crocodile, they've got some features which are remarkable. First of all, you'll notice that their nose, their ears and their eyes all sit on the top surface of their head. That means they can sit in the water with only a very small part of their head showing and they can still breathe, they can still see and they can still hear, but very little of the rest of their body can actually be seen. And so they can hide incredibly well. Now what are they hiding for? This particular type of crocodile and the largest of the crocodiles, the salt water, the Nile crocodile, things like that, they're ambush predators. So they're waiting for the right opportunity and then they go. Now when something gets close to them, what they can do is they can feel very tiny motions that happen in the water because they have thousands and thousands of receptors along the inside of their jaw, the top of their jaw, and in fact every uh, scoot on their body, every scale on their body has got receptors on it that track motion and pressure. And so they can actually feel when the water is moving and that makes them uh, very, very responsive. Anything close to them, they can instantly react. They've got the most acidic stomach of any animal on earth. They've got the, the hardest bite of any animal on earth. They've been around for millions of years and they are fascinating animals. But one thing you may not know is they are very, very sensitive. What I mean by that is they look after their young, they protect their young, and they are very, very careful when they move their young from place to place. Then maybe the sensitive side of the crocodile is not as well known. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining us here on the Tropics Trail.